everybody, it's your boy Titan and Feet Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. I would like to welcome everyone back to the channel. How y'all doing? What is going on with you guys? Anybody new watching for the very first time? I ask that to drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know where you're watching from, and I will reply back to you. At any point of the video, you like the content that you're watching and you want to become part of the TF Game family, I ask that you hit that sub up button, subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on those post notification bells so you'll be notified every time I drop a video right here on this channel. And trust me, you don't want to miss anything because I have giveaways and be providing some good reviews for you guys. And I need everyone watching to smash that thumbs up button, hit that like button, it helps the channel grow, and I really would appreciate it. Now today, I'd like to welcome you to what I call the reach back. The reach back is when the sneakers came out. I didn't get it for whatever reason on release day, and maybe the shoe came out years ago and I reached back and get it, you know, during slow times when releases like we are in right now. So. With that being said, we got a Jordan 1 box. Get you a good look at that label. And you see that's an old label, so you know it's an older retro Jordan 1. It says USI 14. That's my personal pair, and it's an Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Color Turbo Green Sail White. Retail price back then was 160 US dollars pop the top you see the lot number the lot number was written in blue back then now today I believe is in red regular white tissue paper and let's go ahead and pull them out yes look at these here they debuted during the all-star weekend 2019 back when the game was in Charlotte when they finally got a game they had some issues with the NBA not uh, allowing them to have a game because of some stuff that was outside of basketball some issues outside of basketball I will say that I got these off a of GOAT here's my GOAT authentication card gave a little GOAT sticker you know these add up when you start buying multiple shoes from Uncle Billy Goat as I like to call them. But check it out though. The Air Jordan 1 Turbo Green. I know this on a lot of you guys list. Drop that in the comment section. Let me know if this sneaker is on your list to reach back and get. So I'm going to stop all this talking. Let the camera focus. And we're gonna get into the video. Yes, guys, we have the Air Jordan Retro 1 Turbo Green. The hype behind this shoe, it wasn't there at first, but the hype just grew. And I had pairs of these, but not in my size. I've grown to like the shoe over the years. When the price got right, I went and copped it. But let's get into the sneaker. You have that Turbo Green colorway on your overlays, around your ankle, your heel, and your mud guard and the material around it is a suede it's a nice little suede material you have a turbo green swoosh also has suede on it and you have your air jordan branded logo right here in the white colorway you got your hits of gray going around your ankle collar and in here you have your nice some crinkled tumbled leather on your quarter panel and you have that uh SP19 Air Jordan 1 High OG written on your quarter panel. Stands Special Projects 19, which represents the year that it came out. It came out All-Star Game 2019 when it was in Charlotte, North Carolina. And the colors on this sneaker resembles Charlotte's basketball team that plays there, which is the Hornets. And you have that in the gray colorway. You have a vintage looking midsole and that off-white sail cream colorway it gives it that vintage look that's what some sneakers look like when the white ages but these came with the age look already and you also have gray at the bottom of your midsole which leads to the outsole you have that gray outsole standard Jordan 1 traditional outsole looking at the back of the sneaker 
this is a pretty good looking sneaker guys let's look at the medial side of the sneaker you have more of that turbo green colorway on around your ankle collar and your overlays right here and on your mud guard heel as well you also have that uh, suede material on the turbo green colorway on your nike swoosh you have that crinkle color crinkle type leather on your quarter panel it's nice and tumbled looking it's soft but it kind of feels like the leather on the shattered backboard to read at some point then you're going to go to my favorite part of the sneaker that toe box but let's get this junk out of here when i say junk i'm talking about the cardboard shoe tree john jump man logo if you get the focus you can see side 12 and a half to 14 nothing special now let's look at it. some nice leather on here now i see what the hype was about on this sneaker i had to add it to my collection comes with the white flat laces also come with this teal color and the purple like i said matches the charlotte Hornets jersey which was the whole city of the 2019 NBA All-Star Game. These released that weekend. And it wasn't a lot of buzz around it. Like I said, this sneaker actually is sad. It's sad in stores. And now this sneaker is a five, six hundred dollar sneaker in most sizes. You have that nylon tongue in the off-white sail colorway. And you have your woven patch with the yellow and the the yellow wording and your purple Nike swoosh. You have an exposed tongue going around here. And you got your wording on the back. Look on the inside, you have a turbo green or teal insert. You have a turbo green sock liner. You have Nike Air in here and white lettering. And your sizing sticker which says size 14. Can we get a good look at that size and tag? US size 14 production date. Get a little closer. Just a little closer. Size and tag says US size 14 production date. September 19th of 2018 to November 27, 2018. So ooh, from that's about two months of production time guys so do you still have this sneaker in your collection i had to reach back and get it it was one of the sneakers that was highly coveted by myself i had to get it so let me know what you think of this sneaker if you got your pairs in your collection i like to know about that let's run it in the comment section and before i let y'all go like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feed Jack. I'm signing out.